Hi there, Scorpio. Cleaning up off a of Leo here. You may be dealing with a Leo or a Sagittarius. Someone is pulling on your aura, actually. It feels like a Sagittarius, but okay. So I feel like there's someone that still has hope alive about you and your situation. But you may not be, yeah, lovers, you may not be in communication with someone or they're at a distance here. Ninth house and Mercury. Okay, so Ace of Cups. Yeah. Just pulling you a pre-message actually so we can get into your main reading. We can get into your bread and butter. Wow, Scorpio, this is sketch for real. All right, so I'm just going to read it in a general sense. Apply it where you need to. Know that sometimes it's vice versa, of course. Okay. There's something that's attracting you that may feel against the rules or even against the law, Scorpio. Or that's what's happening here. And it's like a new experience could be calling to you. There's some secrecy, there's some privacy. It's not really out in the open just yet. So I feel like, yeah. Do you have a sneaky link, Scorpio? <laughs> so with this cancer energy, I feel like someone's waiting for you at your home or wherever your home is. Like someone is waiting for you and you're trying to get away from another situation so that you can connect with this offer You may know that someone has been watching you, even surveilling you. So you're doing something against the rules big time. This is, some of you, this could be like lawless behavior or um, against a contract, but you're bending, bending the rules. I feel like you're trying to find a loophole, but actually you just have to outright lie or sneak. There's something that you need and it's causing you to keep secrets. Okay, wow. Let me just pull a card here. Yeah, so the Knight of Cups, exactly. So you're tempting someone or you're being tempted, the Three of Wands. You're wanting to go somewhere. This could be someone's home or your home. You're wanting to go somewhere to meet up with someone because you you're feeling very optimistic about it or it's like exciting it's dreamy someone is very dreamy this could be their eyes or yours let me see this justice so the four of swords so this could be you're avoiding this libra person ace of pentacles okay this feels like catch me if you can but whatever you're doing behind the scenes is not going to be seen. Wow. So I feel like you're getting away with something. 12th house and moon. There's Virgo energy. Yeah. Uh, maybe I shouldn't be showing this. Maybe we got flagged. Okay. Maybe not. Maybe we got away with it. Right. Breaking the rules here. So we've got Virgo moon in the 12th house. There are secrets here, every man for themselves, or this is like a free for all, Scorpio. Okay, because someone's coming in with an offer or an appointment or the law or the rules or a contract, and you are opting out, even if you're already opted in. So you do have some open ended energies. You do have some strings in the background. You are attached. You have strings attached to a person or a situation. So I feel like you're going to go do something when someone is sleeping or when they're not looking when they're, so you make someone feel at ease, at peace. You make someone feel comfortable and then you do whatever you do and come back and ask how this person is like nothing happened or this is what's happening Scorpio okay something is not the truth all right Scorp 
it looks like it's you, but we'll see. We'll see. Let's see what what's, wants to come out in your reading, Scorpio. I do hope all is well, of course. Who is in Scorpio's reading? So six of pentacles. Leo just had this. I feel like the energies lately in the readings are collective, especially lately. I feel like most of the time it is, but this is especially lately collective. Yeah, Leo sun. See, I'm just saying. There's a Taurus energy here. So someone wants to give to you, someone wants to invest. This could be like taking you out or treating you. A person wants to treat you. They want to maybe even fund you to fix a problem or to solve something. Okay, so you have this person trying to give to you so that you can feel at ease or so your mind is at ease. Someone is very generous. Okay, so 12th house and moon and cancer energy again. Lots of mystery, lots of secrecy. This could be a secret. So you're the page of pentacles to them and the page of cups. Wow, okay. Someone feels like you're very cute, like you're you're like cute or something about you is youthful. This could be your energy. You are you come off as kind of like uh, innocent or you come off as like naive even, but this person likes that about you. So you have a new idea and you're showing someone and they're, they find you cute or they find you attractive. They want to give to you. They can't help but want to share with you, give to you, invest in you because you seem so cutesy <laughs> okay let me see here so maybe you're younger than this person yeah the 10th house mercury and pisces so this person may be a little bit more advanced than you or they think that they are you because i feel like there's a little bit of secrecy here Like you have a dream or you have a, an idea and you want to build on it. Okay. This could be something that you do in society, Scorpio. Maybe you're just starting out or you're still in like a baby stage, but somebody wants to fund you. This person wants to fund you. Where's Scorpio on the energy? Okay, four of pentacles. Well, that could be why. This all looks like finances right now. Looking for a man in finance. Okay, that's not me. So that's a, if you heard that, okay, it went around on the internet. All right, so chariot. Okay, Scorpio, someone is going to be giving to you because you look like you need it or you, you like you're intending very well. You're very cutesy, but you're you don't have enough or you're coming off that way. It's like, let me give it to Scorpio because they feel, you know, they don't have enough and they really believe in this thing that they're doing. You know, this person feels like Scorpio, you, you have faith in what you want to do, what you want to create. It's newer. So this could be, for example, that you're starting like a new income stream and it's taking time to build, but it's also taking a lot of your time up. So now you feel like you're not having enough or you feel like you could use a little support kind of energy. Yeah, this it's like someone wants to invest because they're like, oh, Scorpio was well-meaning. They're, they're intending this beautiful idea with the Pisces energy, you know, they have this dream, this goal, this ambition, and I want to fund them or I want to support them. I want to be supportive to Scorpio. Okay. So that's who's coming in this earth energy. This could be earth sign energy. Okay. Okay. 
five of pentacles. So interesting. So you feel like the person in the reading doesn't have enough for themselves or yeah, the sun. Okay. Anyway, there's a solution here. Maybe you feel like this person is willing to give you even at their detriment or like this person would be willing to invest even if they don't have time or energy. They're still finding a solution or they're still going to fix it. They're still going to invest in you, Scorpio. So it looks like you're not giving to this person the way that they want to give to you. Let me see the current dynamic. What is this current? I'm getting currency here too. There could be an exchange currency exchange going on. What is the current dynamic between Scorpio and this person? Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, five of wands. All right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you're making someone like work for something, Scorpio. Uh, And maybe you don't intend that, but they are like, you're making someone sweat a little bit. Okay. So Virgo, Uranus in the third house. Someone's communications are very forward or like combative even or that's what's happened in the past. Like there's a disagreement that could have caused you to shut down in this dynamic, but this person's continuously wanting to support you. So you may be getting upset with what they're doing for you or you have already um, because something is not where you need it to be. This could be their attention or energy as well. If it's not money, Scorpio, please keep in mind. But it's looking like money in the reading heavily. In a general sense, it's just energy. This person's not giving you enough. And it's causing some disgruntled vibes. So someone's sweating because it's like, uh-oh, you know, there could be a crunch going on. Yeah, the eight of swords. They don't know how they're going to get themselves out of something. Maybe you also see that. You're like, okay, this is at your detriment, you know, so be it or figure it out. Something like that. Even though they're giving to you, all this person. Yeah, Knight of Cups, Scorpio, Eight of Swords. Someone doesn't know how they're going to continue to give to you or how they will give to you. They do want to give to you whatever they're giving, okay? Um, but they feel... Like they're in a crunch. You also see this person in a crunch. It's like someone who can't even pay their own bills, wants to give you everything they have. Do you understand? So that could be, it's not literal, maybe. It could be somewhat a metaphor. Like someone is ready to give you the shirt off of their own back. But see, okay. This person wants to be in support of you because you're cute or, you know, so t 10 of, so this could be like child support for some 10 of cups, the 10 of wands. Yeah. 10 of cups. So there's pressures in a household and in a family like you. Wow. You're getting into some difficult energy. So this is, this is interesting because you're saying the person that wants to help you can't, even though they want to, or at least that's how you're seeing it. So we'll see what wants to come out and see if there's any validity to that. But this person wants to alleviate some stress you're experiencing. Now this could be that you don't have enough time to even clean up. Okay. Could be, or you have time constraints and restrictions right now now, or you just feel some sense of insecurity, not enoughness in some way. And this is causing you a great deal of strain. So this person wants to be the person to alleviate that and make you happy. Kind of like, you know, because you're cute or you're well-meaning or something about you is like pure. Okay. Someone feels like you have like a purity about you, like a, like you don't know better or something. Um, or, okay, you're not in a position to 
be able to do something just yet because it's just starting out like you're just starting out and so someone's giving you like grays okay okay yeah the hermit and the two of cups i'm telling you so someone is seeking to be i'm hearing your person wow someone is seeking to be like your friend, your confidant, they're seeking to be the wise one. They want to be seen as a guide, uh, someone that you can rely on, depend on. Even if this is like, open up Scorpio, like, let me be there for you or let me support you emotionally. Even this person wants to go deep with you. Um, very deep actually. And you, you doubt them or you feel like, how are you going to help me when your life is a mess or something like that? Huh? Oh, damn Scorpio. <laughs> so this is why you have the lovers <gasps> Scorpio. That was you in the beginning. So here's the deal. You, oh my gosh. Let me get a roll on this. Yeah, Virgo, Virgo sun in the sixth house. That's all service energy, service and helping and being of aid, being of assistance, being consistent as well. Um, healing. Maybe somebody needs to heal. Um, so you're shutting down to this person because you're not seeing the capability in them. So you could be going to like an emperor or there's an emperor coming in to, 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 well, to give you that connection or that support that you're seeking this. There's an established energy here. So here's what's happening. You're going to, because you doubt the situation, like maybe you just feel like they, they are in no position or there's no way you could pull that off. Like, you know, there's another opportunity. Okay. And so this could create that sneaky link energy that, you know, I want this, but I also want that too. But technically I don't have to you know, talk about it with this person or something like that because you want someone to be able to, yeah, I feel like there's something you need here. All right. Nine of wands, five of wands. Okay. What is the outcome here for Scorpio? Oh, card just flew over the top. Temperance. Wow. Okay. Why temperance? Oh, wow. Scorpio. <laughs> Leave it to a Scorpio to pull that off. Okay, so the Page of Swords. Yeah. Um, okay. You're getting what you want. I do see that you're going to be able to blend here. So this could be the, the ideas that you have or the opportunities that you have. You're going to use them to create this happy scenario. I see this being alleviated. Something is healing. This may take a little bit of time. I don't know. This looks like 10 days. Um... to two weeks, one and a half to two weeks. looks like you're getting the solution. You're looking forward to this time period. Yeah. The tower, look at that. I'm telling you and the magician. So an offer is coming in in the nick of time. Okay. So you're actually getting a solution, Scorp. Wow. What is the outcome for the person here? Six of swords. Why? 
the Ten of Pentacles. Okay. The Two of Cups. That's interesting. So you're feeling like something is done and over and that you have to pull away. But this person will find a solution. So whoever this person is, they are determined to take things to the Ten of Pentacles. So right now you may be in a four and this person is f adding the six to take you to the ten. So I'm telling you, the person is going to pull through with you. They are. They have intentions to. They're going to find a way. I also feel like you have options. So it doesn't mean that you have to, you know, just say yes to this. However, I feel like you can say yes to multiple things right now. Very interesting, Scorpio. Um, so if you are doing something against the rules, it's benefiting you. Okay. However, you know, okay. So the second house, Uranus and Scorpio, damn, this is that tower. So a tower is coming in to somebody's income. Okay. Or what is valued here? It's in with you. So yeah, Scorpio, Uranus in the second house, you are going to be benefited here. So you could be like a beneficiary or something's going on like that. Damn, Scorpio. Good for you. Okay, let's get you some advice. Not that you need it. Th this is wild how this is going to work out. I feel like you're not expecting that at all. At all. That's why you, you're making plan B, plan C. It's like because something is not coming through the way that you need, not that you want. It looks like you need something. Okay, or at least you feel you do, some of you. It's because it's not coming in the way that you need that you're kind of scheming or strategizing or that's because you start opening up to more opportunity. You're going to be surprised. You will. Okay, this is going to be like a sudden breakthrough. Um, yeah. So I feel like you can go with plan A, B, and C or something. Whatever you're doing... It looks like you're not going to be open about it or you don't have to share this information with someone or whoever people okay around you um but hey all right uh, it feels like because you have something that is a desperate situation or that you're fearing some desperation all right, so anyway, advice for Scorpio, please, or what can Scorpio focus on? What is a need-to-know basis? Yeah, something is a need-to-know basis. Damn, the emperor. <laughs> I can't. Okay. Mm-hmm, ninth house. Uh, Libra and Neptune in the ninth house. Yeah, um, this is relation with other, okay? Neptune. Something is deceptive about this. I mean, we've been talking about that. Like, I don't know what the deception is specifically, but there's something deceptive about this offer. Um, no, not the offer. The way that you are going about the situation, there's something deceptive about that. So can I get advice here for Scorpio? The Four of Cups. See, it's saying like, don't take a risk or you don't have to, like you don't, you may be, uh, deceived too, because maybe you feel like someone's going to show you what you think they can't do. That's what I want to tell you. Okay. The eight of swords. Exactly. The seven of swords again. Don't get your head um, or your panties twisted in a bunch or like don't get up in your head about something. I know that's hard, especially if you're in a four of pentacles or five of pentacles energy. Um, you're being tight with your energy, with whatever you're talking about. You are being tight with your money for some. Like you're not overly invested in things or investing in things. So you don't have to take unnecessary risks. Oh my gosh. 
if someone is offering you something, I feel like you have to think about it. Think about your strategy, if it's worth it, if you actually want to take this offer or be involved. Okay. Don't sell yourself short and don't sell others short during this time. Like try not to get caught in that pattern of thinking. You, you got to avoid that. Avoid thinking like someone's not capable or that even you're not capable, Scorpio. You are. Can I get a focus point for Scorpio beneficial supportive? Show the world the real you. <laughs> okay. Let's do Scorpio. Your authenticity is going to be in question. Take time to breathe out. Okay. Yeah. So I feel like, you know, if something sits right with you, then that's how you know you're on the right path. Step out of your comfort zone. I feel like you're stepping into this emperor energy, but right now it feels like it's outside of you. So you may feel like you're not in charge or in control of something. Um, something's going to take time, but you're going to get it. That's what I'm getting here. Give me one on that show the world the real you for Scorpio. Hangman, yeah. So, judgment. There's a, wow, this is like a wake-up call. A realization, um, especially shared with another person. Your perspective sucks, or this person does. Like, this perspective, the, the way that something is being seen in relation to other it sucks because it's not accurate. Uh, so you could be caught in a way of thinking that you're shooting yourself in your own foot here because it's making you not see potential where there is actually potential. So that's what I'm saying. Like, I feel like someone is going to take you by surprise or this is you. You're going to take somebody by surprise. I'm, this is going to be wild the way that this works out. Okay. Can I get a beneficial supportive? So this is like, don't, don't have your head up your own. You know what? Like try to see things for what they are. Don't just shoot stuff down just because you have a fear or a concern or a worry. Like give something a little bit of thought, a little bit of merit, whatever it is. Something does feel uncomfortable, but, um, it's saying like chill out as best as possible or try to with the take time to breathe out energy. So what is the focus point for a Scorpio? Oh, high priestess. Okay. I don't like how this came out, but I am blessed. My courage gives birth to the divine. Maybe you do need a little bit of that, a little bit of courage involved. The high priestess. I am one with my soul and my soul is a legacy of love. Yeah. And so I feel like this has to do with you, um, being okay with what you're doing and what that looks like. You could be like shooting stuff down before it even has time to take off. Or you kind of have this little bit of a arrogant flair going on. Um, it's okay. It happens. I'm not trying to be judgmental. I'm just reading cards. Okay. Even though judgment is here. <laughs> yeah. So your judgment is going to change or there's another way to see something. Beneficial supportive for Scorpio. All right, hold on. Beneficial supportive for Scorpio. Focus on damage. Beneficial Scorpio. I just don't like how these are coming out. So I feel like we're just going to leave it alone. All right. So I'm getting two cards here. My soul inform my every step. I do what my heart compels me to do. Like I said, are, is this in alignment with you? You got to figure that out. Now, possibilities are limitless because the soul is limitless. So yeah, the Michael Jackson card. I do feel like there's more possibilities. We've been saying this. Thank you, Scorpio. Um, best of luck. See you next time.